Hello there ladies and gentlemen, my name is Gordon Notice and this is Lisa, the painful role playing game. This might be the end of it all. End of the line, friend. She belongs to Rando now. Hey, what happened to her face? It's ruined. The vault guy did it. Buddy. We need to run now. Buddy. Stop. Uh oh. How'd they get here? You came. For the first time in my life, I'm speechless. Brad, my boy. This is history. And it's for the best. The girl is not yours. Ah, oh, hell. I guess this is it, eh? One last drink for the working man. I never liked you anyway. No. You can't have her. All of your people are filling her head with nonsense. Blinding her. You don't understand. I have to save her. I'm sorry, guys. Hey! Guan doesn't want to do this. Birdie. F Birdie looks so sad. They're not doing almost any damage. Minetti got back up. They're very, very tanky, very tough. But so is Brad for some reason. But then again, Birdie's never had an uh, the option to just flail. So flies out. Nern is crying. Birdie doesn't want to do this either. Oh my god. Only Brad does. Or does he? God bless you, Birdie. You're holding back. You don't want to do this at all. You're barely hitting Brad. Oh. Brando! F... F... Ace. Sir, you don't have to speak. 
don't worry, little girl. A f f face is nothing. The inside. It's... It's what matters. Hi. Hi. I d know you are strong. Rando. He spoke. That's the first time I've ever heard him. His voice sounds so weak. I can't believe it. Wait, what about bald guy? We haven't forgotten. Face it. You can't win. Just give up now and walk away with your life. You don't need to die today. No. Hmm? You don't understand. I've been dead for 35 years. Today is the day I live. Stevie Dean, Float Ziggler, Mickey or Mikey Neat, Bruno Lee, Waltz Teamboat, Spice Simmons. Ziggler is very tough, but uh, <laughs> double damage is double now because I'm no longer. This guy's stronger than I thought. He can't possibly take down all of us. Kill him. There's Ku Dragonhead, Gil Saturn, Top Polanski. Durth Hendrix, Phil Bush, and Mikhail Waters. Everyone's fallen. I have so much joy I could use, but I don't wanna. Alright, they got up. All of them. If the arrows are not doing any damage, which is... Well, they're not doing any damage in, in general. Hit him in half with it with that drop kick. A Mongolian chop. I'll bite your head off. Okay, maybe. Ah, fine, just burn him. What the hell? He's not human. How is he still alive? Oh. Help me, Lisa. Cry out for relief. Uh-oh. There's Curbed, Ambrose, Harmony Flynn, Dwayne Ports, Ernie Frost, Cooper Plate, and Dean Fritz Clark. Woo! 
Dwayne is scared of me. Actually, I've been given the opportunity to have some time to think whilst I'm just mindlessly slaughtering these fellas who are perhaps not innocent, but maybe they are, who knows. Uh, the only character who's ever stuttered was uh, the little boy that um, like looking at uh, liked watching Brad teach his students just just give him the girl yeah let's go he's a fucking monster get away with you freak Forrest Richards Ron Farouk Gon Duggan Clint Moss Big Ant Ira Temple it hurts you have to scream I wanna do that. Whew. Bigant is horrified, he's crying. Seven hundred thirty SP. All right. Okay, so I, I saw I see what they do. The uh, uh, the cry, the, the cry, help, is a substitute for horse stance. Clint Moss is enraged. Like, Clint Moss, that guy was right before Rando. Did I beat the whole army? I mean, I beat 15 guys so far. So, and these five will make 20? Wait, no, there's a six guys. Alright, so maybe, maybe I've beaten more than... 15 guys, maybe I've beaten 18 guys, and these are gonna turn into 24. Everyone's trying to get up. John Duggan is horrified. Let's eat a random ration just so we have full health, completely full, and uh, eat a diesel fire bomb at them. Okay, that's... That's a sight. B buddy, stay back. Don't touch her. Master Armstrong, Pili please. We don't need to fight. She is the future. She's just a kid. Yo! Rando is jacked! I mean, what would you expect? 
go for a drop kick. He slams me down. Ooh, he actually does damage. Oh, oh. Actually, how about we just dry ourselves up? Buster punches? What? Hold on, just a minute. He resisted the fire. Ah, oh, but I'm droid, so I'm not taking any damage. Rando also throws fireballs. What? Burst of punches, fireballs. Said Master Armstrong. Uh, this feels like... Like the theory. It started formulating just, just now. Is Rando this little guy? Rando is, is not a little guy anymore. He stabs through your chest. Your chest is cut open with his hand. Okay, we can make, we can confirm that Rando is badass. Rando is definitely badass. He does the buster punches. And the music is massive. Great. Just stabs through your chest. Score! Stabs through your chest. Oh my god, it's so. It's like Rando is. Or rather, at least he seems to be fucking strong. No joke. I, you can, I can, I can see why he had this arm and he had that much respect. Oh, his mask broke. He's breaking. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Slamming fireballs. He's really strong. I appreciate that greatly. Rando is crying. Okay, yeah. The theory is true. It's true. It can't not be true. Why would he be crying? He regains focus. He's no longer crying. The sound effect never does the slams me down. It's just very cool. Oh! He he has two two attacks that do a lot of damage to Brad, and then. Has a few that don't really do that much damage. Broken man slams you down. Oh, oh no! It's true. The theory is true. Look at his face. Like you remember, uh, when I was ascending the mountain to fight Buff Van Dyke, there was this little cave, and I went in there and. Uh, it was the boy, but his face was wrapped up in bandages, and it seemed as if there was bleeding, and he was like, sorry, and he apologized. Oh, he's not alone. Oh, he's coughing up blood. Oh my god. He's fighting for dear life. Wipes. Slams me down. Oh, that was a critical strike. You really are the best. Thank you. For everything.
he's done. Something tells me he's not dead. Because the one time anyone was done was back when uh, Rick was done. But he did. He wasn't dead because he appeared and uh, he asked me to stop from myself from killing Tony, buddy, uh, Sticky, not Tony, but yeah, Tony and Sticky. It's over. Why are you doing this to me? Why are you trying now? Why weren't you there when I needed you? You've taken everything away from me. I know. I finally had a chance at life and you take it away. Stop. Why are you trying to hurt me so much? You make me sick. I hate you. Stop. I know you hate me. I know. Why, Brad? Why did you do this to me? I had a chance to choose something for myself. Nobody. You didn't. For good or for evil, it didn't matter. Those men wanted to use you. People are always going to try to use you and hurt you. Choose your life for you. Don't preach to me. Please. It's too late for that. You can't just be a father all of a sudden. I just... For once, I wanted to do something good. I'm the one that was supposed to protect you. I can't let anyone hurt you. Brad, you've hurt me the most. Hi, buddy. Can you do something for me? Please. What? Hold me. Why? I want to know what it's like. I'm begging you. Oh! Do I hug Brad or do I leave him alone? Oh, jeez. Oh. After this. Oh, oh I want to hug it. I want to say hug Brad. I want to say that. Ah, oh, jeez. What am I going to do? <clears throat> hug Brad. Hug him. Buddy. Yes? Did I do the right thing? Alright, I knew something was off as soon as uh, the credits started uh, going all jittery. His Brad's become a mutant.
Lisa. Oh, hey, look at that. Is that a f that's that's probably the ending scene. Holy crap. Dusty? What happened? I, I'm sorry. I wasn't strong enough to to fight back. Who did this? It was him again. He, he's crazy, master. He, he, he used the saw. He said, this is for Lisa. Why, master? Who is L Lisa? Master? Master Ar Armstrong? Oh, fuck. Oh. Dad. I'm sorry. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it appears that this is the end. <sighs> oh, this is, uh, I was right. I was correct in my assumption. The theory, it all added up. Someone vindictive. Who did this though? Who did this? This is for Lisa. Did this... Rano's actual name is Dusty, right? Yeah. His actual name is Dusty, so... Did Dusty have anything to do with Lisa? No, he didn't. He asked who is Lisa. So, someone had something against Brad and he someone blamed Brad for Lisa's suicide I guess so who is this person we have encountered a character who blamed Brad for Lisa's I don't know actually no if he blames Brad for Lisa's suicide but for him Brad needs to pay so Maybe it's uh, the leader of the Joy Gang? Maybe it's him? Maybe he dead to Dusty? That'd be very nasty though. God dang it. It'd be very, very nasty. But, Dusty was f or rather rando. He was fucking cool! He was strong, man! He was the best! Oh! Dope. Oh well. This is the end of this uh, playthrough, I guess. Lisa the Painful. It's over. However. I don't know. I think I've covered most of the topics that were hinted at. The duality of man, the nature of man and the fact that it can that a man can change the horror a man can inflict upon others didn't phrase that right but the pain the evil a man can do can cause yes uh, delusions uh, how how would people deal with such a great challenge, such a great difficulty? Like, 
not having women around. And then suddenly one appears. It will throw the world into chaos, yes. This is, uh, that was something, all right? That game, that was something. I think we'll talk about that at a later date when I'm reviewing it officially. But yeah, it was great. I hope you enjoyed, ladies and gentlemen. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you would like to see more, and I hope we get to see you next time. Farewell.